Welcome back to Punch on News. We begin this evening with the latest on the weather system that has been keeping Jamaica firmly in our sights for the last 24 hours. Tropical storm Sandy is the reason Jamaicans are now battening down. Traffic in the corporate area reached a standstill and petrol stations and supermarkets were flooded with customers. Good afternoon, I'm Milton Walker with TVJ's continuing coverage here midday on Wednesday, October 24th, 2012. Sandy is now a Category 1 hurricane. And as the rains lashed the country, a bridge in Kintai, St. Andrews, at risk of collapsing. Janella Precious is in the community right now, and we join us, and she joins us now on the phone. Janella, what can you tell us about that uh, bridge in Kintyre? All right, good afternoon, Milton. Good afternoon, viewers. Well, residents of Kintyre and Tavern in St. Andrew, they gathered from very early, Milton, to watch as a section of a, of a bridge collapsed. Now, the bridge in question is used mainly by motorists. Conservative and the media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villaro. I have a breaking weather news story here. And what I'm showing you here is um, Hurricane Sandy. As I'm shooting this video is that um, Hurricane Sandy is now categorized as a Category 2 hurricane, meaning that it has sustained winds right now at around 110 miles an hour for Hurricane Sandy. Seen, have you seen worse, or is that the worst you've seen? Well, let well, me see worse than that. Really? Uh, last, last time. Ivan, when Ivan didn't come, Ivan didn't kind of. Oh, Ivan came through here? Yeah, Ivan. Hey, how are you? Hi. Yeah. What, did this have a name? We don't even know what the name was yesterday. Sa Sandy. Sandy? Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. It didn't feel like a Sandy, did it? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 let the girl there rope. <laughs> It stayed forever. Yeah, you're rough, you're, you're rough, man. you're rough, you're rough, bad, bad.
So what the hurricane do to you guys, man? Well, it, it do a lot to me, man. It hurt all of us, man, because they have roof come off. You have all of the plants, like the banana. You have the roof stop came down. It's a disaster. So even it hurt somebody like you to just do yeah, some taxi service. Yeah, I'm a taxi service. Yeah. Because some of the scenery, what we just take guests, we cannot take them there because mash up you know yeah. you have to wait for the nature to make it grow back like the rainforest a lot of trees come down out of the rainforest so i mean it just look clear when yeah. you go to the rainforest it's like it's luscious and green and nice that's what i mean the slow moving storm swept over the bahamas after leaving a trail of destruction across the northern caribbean cuban authorities reported several killed on the island with the city of santiago suffering serious damage People in Haiti and the Dominican Republic were battling the threat of rivers swollen by heavy rain. Forecasters still don't know where on the U.S. mainland Sandy will hit, but some beaches in Florida are already feeling the early edges of the strong weather. Justin Povic is a meteorologist at AccuWeather. He joins me now live from uh, State College, Pennsylvania. Uh, Justin, good to talk to you. You know, I've got a, a good friend who I worked with for a number of years there in Atlanta, who I know you know well, um, who is one of the best in your business, who says, Sandy may pose the greatest risk to human life he has ever seen. Do you share that view of this storm? Well, I'll tell you one thing is for sure. This is shaping up to be quite the monster as we go through time.